we're gonna take you on a whole lot of adventures on a mini cash tour. Yeah, let's go. can't come all this way into Arizona without stopping on Old Route 66 and that's the name of the cache. Yeah so now we have to look in this huge collection of Route 66 memorabilia mm -hmm. for the geocache. Let's, Let's go. get a hunting. Yeah, and there are so many places to look. Yeah, we're not gonna tell though. Yeah, I can't spoil it. You gotta come here and check it out for yourself. That's right. Old Route 66. Out here in the desert. Yep, got it. US 66 at 2448 miles ran from Chicago to Santa Monica, California. It was established in November 1926 and became one of the most famous roads in the United States. The highway was recognized in popular culture by both the hit song Get Your Kicks on Route 66 and the Route 66 television series. In John Steinbeck's classic novel The Grapes of Wrath, the road symbolized escape and loss. Many people fought to keep the highway alive in the face of the growing threat of being bypassed by the new interstate highway system, but it was officially removed from the United States highway system in 1985. For anybody that's into the old Route 66, right here at the Hackberry General Store, You'll love it. There is so much memorabilia about the highway, you'll just knock your socks off. Come on out and, and check it out, and we're going to go get some more caching here in the Arizona desert. I get your kicks on Route 66. Does this remind you of the road to Bushwhacker? Lingham Lake. <laughs> oh, Lingham Lake. Oh. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, you found it! We were up too high. Woo! That one was almost a DNF and I was feeling so bad because we wanted to bring you to this spot and have a find. And it was a really bumpy road. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it reminded us of Lingham Lake and the search for Bushwhacker and the link well, for that will be right up here. Names. Yeah, this is an awesome spot and we really wanted to come here. I'm so glad she found it. <laughs> Thank goodness. Let's take a look at the murals. You can see it from here. Oh, cool. Yeah, it was just our, we were thinking too high on the terrain. The murals are located about a mile and a half above town. They were painted by Southwest artist Roy Purcell in 1966, who worked in the nearby mines while taking a break from a master's degree in art. 
Local residents supported his desire to paint the journey on some of the larger rock faces. He is quoted as saying, I could no longer hide from myself. I had begun a journey of self-discovery from which I could never turn back. Such a fascinating place. Look at all the murals. But it was really hard to get here. And uh, so nice to get the cache. And it's like geocaching takes you to some amazing locations just like this. Here at Chili Chili's, there's a TB Hotel. It's the Boulder Dam TB Hotel, but it's got a lock on it. Uh oh. We gotta find the combination. The hint has some stuff in it about the Hoover Dam, and I'm surmising that the clue to get into the lock is there. But let me see if I can get this right. So I'll try a couple of numbers listed in the hint. We'll see. Oh, I got in. I opened it. I figured it out. Woohoo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo! Hey, look at that. We're in. No TVs to pick up from this TV hotel. Well, we left some Cache Canada stuff. Well, that was a really cool bunch of caches down yeah. old Route 66. Yeah, never been down there before. Nope. It's fantastic. Yeah, and that was the first time we had ever cached in the state of uh, Arizona. Arizona. So, so now we have... A new souvenir. Yeah. How many states have you cached in? Oh, well, how I many can't provinces? I remember now. Yeah. A lot. Anyway, thanks for coming to join us. And keep watching, there's more caches to yeah. be found. Where will geocaching take, take you? you?